Good morning everyone, kia ora from New Zealand. Here we are at the Royal New Zealand Ballet. My name is David McAllister and for the next 10 days, I'm the Acting Artistic Director of the Australian Ballet before I hand over to the wonderful Viking Wall. With me today is Lauren Byrne, who is our Head of Education. Hi Lauren. Good everyone, how are we all doing? We're very excited because we are kicking off World Ballet Day. This is gonna be 24 hours of ballet around the globe and of course New Zealand is the first place that the sun rises and we're very excited to have you with us uh, for the first time again back in the St James Theatre. This is the home of the Royal New Zealand Ballet. Um, unfortunately for the last couple of years we were out while they were doing some earthquake uh, work but we're back in the studios and loving it. Yeah, it's so, it's been so nice to be back. It was about four years, I think, that we were in the other um, building, so it's really great to be back. All the dancers are loving it, being back connected to the theatre, so yeah, it's great. So we're going to kick off with class, as everyone does around World Ballet Day. Um, today, our class is going to be taught by Clyde Campbell, who's one of our former dancers, and also, of course, one of the amazing ballet masters of this company. We are also going to have Nick uh, Giles Palmer, on the piano um, playing for us for class. So please enjoy, and we'll be able to answer any of your questions if you want to send us questions on Facebook and we'll be meeting some of the dancers later and having a chat. So enjoy, welcome to Royal New Zealand Ballet. All right, honey girl, Sunday class, we used to do the Thank you. 
So we're finished on the bar and we've got a friend who's here with us at the moment. <laughs> this is Lara. <laughs> and she's dressed as a Kiwi because we're in New Zealand, but also because the Royal New Zealand Ballet is actually doing some work with Capital Kiwi, who, which are a non-for-profit organisation that are taking the lead on uh, eradicating pests from um, native land, bushlands, and they are returning kiwis to um, to be safely able to live in these lands. And what we're doing is making these canvas bags uh, with a specialised canvas that's made from a company called um, Cacti, Cactus, and, um, and our costume department are making these wonderful bags that will be able to transport kiwis to these safe parts of the island so that we can repopulate the kiwi um, communities here in New Zealand. So, Lara, you look very cute. You. You look very cute. <laughs> and um, we just thought that everyone needs to see a Kiwi because we're in New Zealand. So we're going to continue on with the class. We're going to hand it back to Taiji now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, spoiler alert, the witch is in the 
we're really sorry about um, any of the mic issues uh, earlier, um, but we hope that you enjoyed it and you like spending the morning with us uh, for World Ballet Day. Pass on to Jason. Thanks, Lauren, and it's been so much fun. We had a lot of fun watching the class, um, but also thanks to Lady Campbell and to Nick Giles Palmer for giving such beautiful um, exercises and music for us to uh, watch and enjoy, and also to all the company who did such a beautiful class. Um, we are now going to introduce our new executive director, Tobias Perkins, who has just joined us here. Um, well, it's not just so much now. That's about three months. About three months, yeah. So you, you're sort of hard to finish it. Oh, I don't know about that. I'm still finding my feet. <laughs> so you've joined us from the Northern Valley Theatre, and um, in, a, in a very important year for the Northern Valley Yes, that's right. I've been uh, at North Valley for the last seven years. I think that they'll be uh, on, the, on, on the live channels at some point in our tomorrow uh, or later today. Um, uh, so if anybody's watching this from uh, from the East, it's not even have to have to Yes, it's such an important year for all of this valley. Um, really, in the year we're taking stock of the, the history of the company and honouring everyone who's come before us and built the company up to this point. And also, um, we had a very exciting year with your appointment, but also the appointment of Ty King Wall as the new artistic director. And I know that Ty's going to be speaking at the Australian Ballet's feed, which follows us directly. But um, you must be looking forward to working with a new, exciting artistic director. I'm happy to throw the first and Ty's time to, to join us. Yes, I mean, it, it means we can really start looking for the future with uh, real excitement about how we will continue to uh, honour the unique um, identity of the uh, artist and also about the future of Thai's going to be the transition of the I can't wait to start with Exactly. And of course, we're, um, we've just launched the subscription season for next year, for 2024. Um, lots of exciting things. So if anyone's interested, you can get online at um, the Royal New Zealand Ballet website or um, there's brochures all around the countryside. So um, have a look at what we're doing next year. Look at all the education programs that we're going to be doing. And um, so it's going to be a really exciting year. So thank you so much to buy some today. It's my pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, you don't. Yes, and next, next year we'll, we'll be secret right? we, we look back to Swan Lake as one of the next years of our international work. And uh, I'll have another one last year, so it has been that alongside the really rich pattern of our yeah, really exciting. Two, uh, three of the people that we're going to introduce you to now are also very important to the Royal New Zealand Ballet because next year in 2024 they'll be celebrating 10 years with the company. So if I could have Catherine Miner, who's just joining us here, and Harry, and John, James Kelly. So, guys, calm down. So, does it feel like yesterday when you were sort of young? You're still young, right? Yes, it's crazy. Yes. And you're all from very different parts of the world. So, thanks for joining us, John. I'm from Australia, but I'm not training at the Chapel Ballet I'm from Greater Scotland, and I'm training at English Chapel Ballet School. So take a step closer, guys, because I'm struggling to get this thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, New Zealand, how's it been so far? Oh, it's been amazing. Um, honestly, the best part about this, well, one of the best things about this best thing about this company is that we get to travel the country and we get to see the small regions. We have an amazing program to just on tour where we're accessible to venues and regions that don't have ballet in their cities. So, um, yeah. It's been wonderful. The people that I've met and the friends I've worked with, and this place is, um, it's, you know, it's about our family, so yeah. And showing not only that we've been dancing for 10 years, but you've been doing a lot of easy aids and works. Um, and most recently, we've worked at the place there. Um, the highlight of our 70th anniversary car life was Magic, which is based on a work by um, our founding artistic director, Paul Matt, and uh, Russell Kirk. So we're going to see a new, a new version of a recreation of a ballet that was done in 1960. 
Yeah, um, so Cities on Tour season will be doing Prismatic 2.0. Um, it will be done for around 10 members of the company. It will be the full Brahms variation and symphony. And yeah, um, I just thought it was an absolute pleasure to honor the company in a new way to show how Ali has progressed through time and where we are now and how we've been all managed to the past. How Bali essentially is still kind of what we did all those hundreds of years ago, but it's new and fresh and taking that old music and making it new. So, yeah, getting to work on that today. So. I think it's like one of the new creations. Because of course, we had the artist that picked the artist and also called Platinum, which is the gosh, only two weeks ago. And also, it's been a big thing because you were a creative. And of course, at the moment, we're doing Cancel with Rental, and that was the role that you created, both of you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Lachlan Pryor, who is one of our resident photographers. What was it like to you visit um, Crystal? And, and... Um, it's always really interesting and good to bring this about that we've been bringing, like, I guess it was four years ago now. Um, obviously, Sean and I have been friends for 10 years, and we used to live together, and we know each other so well that. I don't know, our connection on stage around the industry as well as the series is already there, so it's really <laughs> easy with this one. <laughs> um, but no, it's, it's been amazing and um, it's always so fun working with Wonga. Um, it's, it's great to see things on, on me now in fact, it's on here, so yeah, it's, and it's a fun ballet as well. It's hard to believe it was four years ago. Yeah. It's crazy to think about, but it just feels like yesterday. I think that Callum's music is. So exciting to dance here and to create characters too. There's real character in each of these programs in each other. And I have I'm a from a big family, I have four younger sisters, so Kirby's just number five sister. <laughs> <laughs> and of course there's beautiful designs by uh um, as well. So, and, and the projection from um, um yeah. such a beautiful project. So if you're in New Zealand somewhere and you not in Wellington because we've just done the same thing. Please make sure you come and see all of these beautiful dancers during um, Hansel and Gretel, which is on the road until the 10th of December. So check your um, check your current listings and also look at the website at the Royal Museum. So thank you guys, thank you so much. And I'm just going to welcome now one of our principal dancers, Sarah Rauchia. Sarah is one of our great gems at the Royal Museum of Valley, but. Yes, so I, I uh, started at Canada's National High School when I was 12. Um, and boys from the same office and each set for me and my family. Um, and then I moved on to Europe, uh, danced a little bit in France, and then spent six years in Belgium. Um, and then decided to have a change. And yeah, made a huge, huge step over here to New Zealand, but it um, was the best one. And you've got and you've got yes, yes, yeah. I have my husband, and um, yeah, I, New Zealand feels like home. Um, that's the beauty of the valley, is that everywhere it kind of now feels like home. And there's a lot of people who are in the and it's a great place to work. And you'll be doing a number of roles in your time, so yes. all of your fans around New Zealand will be able to see yeah. I mean, I think I might know the answer to this question, but is there a favorite? Oh, that's a toss. Um, 
for cancer jelly yeah. specifically. Um, I will always love the night mother. Um, that was my first goal that I was given here for cancer girl. Um, but I would be doing the ice cream witch in a few places, and that's just tons of fun. I think I've never had so much fun on the stage, um, taking a lot of liberties. But um, yeah, no, that's been awesome. Yeah. And the juice area. Yes. Yeah. Um, for the second part of this year, I'll be doing the G Fairy with Josh, who's lovely, and um, yeah, stylistically it's more jazzy, and um, yeah, my final ode to ballet, I guess, for that So it's one. nice to go out with um, premieres as well. Yes, a yeah. Of roles, just to get it happening yep. just before you hang up the phone. Yeah, keep, keep me on my toes to the last second, and uh Get to wear a tutu for my last day, so that's good. <laughs> well, I'm sure everyone around New Zealand wishes you a huge success and ongoing success in your life and career ahead. And um, thank you for everything you've done for the music club and the beautiful performances. Your legacy will live on in all of our memories for the amazing performances. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, so we're almost at the time. So come on down, everyone, as we hand back to the Australian Ballet, um, our friends across the Tasman, a company that I know very well. Um, and we've got quite a few Aussies here in the company. So um, David Wahlberg and the team at the Australian Ballet, um, led by Jared Madden and Lavinia Nixon, will be taking on the, the mantle from World Ballet Day and taking this live to Australia and then around the world. But from all of us here in the Royal New Zealand Ballet, a huge thank you for joining us and We'll see you next year. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.